Keep saying it's fantastic weekend weather, yeah. so that is great news after the rain we've had all week with back to school. Allison, what can we expect? Yeah, much quieter and calmer conditions as we're heading into the weekend, and that includes today for your Friday. So whether you're heading out on the water, doing some paddling, maybe enjoying going on a hike with your family, or just hanging out at home, here's what you can expect. So let's include today with that. I know, again, it's still a work and school day, but overall today, mostly sunny, wonderful, that gradually dropping humidity through the day today, 88 for your high. Across the entire area, about 83 to 88. Uh, it's going to be beautiful weather for your Friday, especially Friday night, heading right into the weekend. So let's talk about Saturday just truly fantastic in the morning time on Saturday. If you can get up early and just get out and enjoy it, you're going to get to experience the lowest humidity of the weekend. But overall throughout Saturday, it'll still be less humid than what we've been dealing with for the past few weeks. 87 degrees for your high on Saturday. On Sunday, mostly sunny and up to 90, so upper 80s to 90 degrees. I do have to point out both Saturday and Sunday, a slim chance at 10% that we could see a spotty shower, but overall much drier conditions for the weekend. So just head out and enjoy it. Let's get specific about today, though. So here Here's what's happening out your door right now. So temperatures through much of the central part of the viewing area in the 70s. Off to the east, we have 68 degrees, a little bit milder up to along the Cumberland Plateau in the mid 60s, 63 right now in Altamont. Winds from the northwest at five miles per hour. We're going to continue to have that north breeze with us throughout the day today. That's going to be bringing in some of that drier air from the north. So north wind at about five to 10 miles per hour. Now for the next few hours, we're still going to have spots of some patchy dense fog. So do watch out for that reduced visibility. Don't really see that fully dissipating until about about 9 to 10 a.m. this morning with a mix of sun and clouds heading through the rest of the day. Mostly sunny skies, 83 degrees at noon, and then there's those afternoon temperatures generally in the mid 80s for a lot of locations and again continuing to be mostly sunny 87 at 3 o'clock and at 4 p.m. By the time we get to that 4 or 5 o'clock hour, you're really going to be noticing that it's a little bit less humid outside and that's going to continue to fall overnight right into Saturday morning. So let's take a peek at that. We still have that green across our area, but notice by 5 o'clock that darker green color is further to the south of us. So Atlanta, Montgomery, Jackson, we're kind of in that faded out green. So that's where the humidity will be gradually falling today. As we continue overnight into Saturday morning, notice more of those gold colors coming in. That'll certainly be the drier air. Why I said it's going to be just fantastic to get outside on Saturday morning through the day on Saturday. Most of that is going to be lingering. So the humidity will inch up just a little bit through the day on Saturday, but it's still not going to get us way back into that very muggy category. That's the good news in Sunday. More of the same. So yeah, it's a little bit more humid out there, but still not that really dark green color indicating the very muggy air. So pretty much today, tomorrow and Sunday, we get a break right in the middle of August. That's the good news. And with the lower humidity, we also don't have to worry about those summertime pop up storms as much, especially for the afternoon and evening hours. So dry today, 10% chance again Saturday and Sunday for a spotty shower. We'll up it to a couple of isolated showers on Monday and Tuesday, and then some scattered development on Wednesday at 30%. But overall, lower percentages all week long compared to what we've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks. Conditions outside right now, again, we have some spots of that patchy fog, but there are also some clouds across our area right now. Now too. So we'll call it partly cloudy overall. You can step outside and still see the sturgeon full moon right now. So take a peek at the moon, but nothing showing up on the radar, not just locally, but across the entire region. You have to go all the way over to central portions of North Carolina to be able to see a little bit of that rainfall. So as we go through the morning today, partly sunny skies becoming mostly sunny though by midday right into the afternoon. You can see all those blue lines coming down. That's that north wind bringing in that drier air overnight tonight. We'll continue to have that north wind a, a scattered cloud cover and then really pleasant conditions again for Saturday morning. Now we'll have a mix of sun and clouds through the day on Saturday, and you can see a few of those little green spots here and there. More likely from Cherokee County sweeping through Georgia into northeast Alabama, that 10% chance for a couple of spotty showers possible. The great majority of the area, though, you're going to be staying dry. That's the good news. Let's go ahead and take you into Sunday. Nice conditions again on Sunday morning, mostly sunny skies and just that 10% chance as we head into the afternoon that we could see a spotty shower pop up. So overall, I think you're going to be good to go enjoy this weekend today specifically mostly sunny that falling humidity 88 for your high in Chattanooga Scottsboro 87 for Dalton and Cleveland and then tonight check out these lows 59 for that low in Altamont 65 in Chattanooga 61 in Athens and in Blue Ridge it is going to feel so nice outside tonight right into tomorrow morning so I just go ahead Put that pleasant word on there again for both Friday and Saturday. Sunday will be a little bit hotter, um, but you're still going to have nice conditions. That humidity a little bit lower still. And then next week we're going to be watching another dip. Look at that Wednesday, a high of 85, Thursday, 86. So really 
pretty nice for this point in August. Very nice. I have to go back to the Sturgeon Moon. I heard you talking about yes. it. I remember it from trivia on Wednesday. <laughs> yes. And I think I saw it out there this morning. You should have. I, I purposely, at, sitting at a red light, which wait, I feel like I always hate getting caught at a red light yeah. early in the morning, but I sat there and was like, oh wait, I can look up and look at the moon while I'm waiting for it to turn green. It was beautiful and I noticed it yesterday too and I meant to say something mm -hmm. to you, but yeah, what a treat. I know. In other news too, we do have a meteor shower that's peaking tonight into tomorrow morning, so I'll have more details on that coming up in the next half hour is this as the well. Perseid? It is. Lori, Lori has Lori. been paying attention. She has been prepping on science stuff just That's in case right. I ask it a trivia question. You never know and I, I'm leading Paul right now so I've got to maintain That's that right. lead. I know you do. You, you're up by so much. I think you're okay uh, if you yeah. miss one here and there. Allison, thank you. <laughs> and I'm